What is up everybody, this is Kyle from the TF Review, and I have to say I wasn't planning on making a video today, but recently, and by recently I mean over the past couple of hours, Bondi of America had released a shitstorm of brand new San Diego Comic Con exclusives, so I figured this would be the perfect opportunity to do another exclusive update. Now I haven't done a toy review in a while, but I'm going to be doing some uh, very soon, some Fall of Cybertron stuff, a little bit older, but still good in my opinion now. With that aside, let's talk a little bit about what they announced today. Uh, first and foremost, the biggest thing they announced is the uh, White Ranger and Green Ranger uh, Power Morpher. Now, when Bondi of America released the first uh, Legacy Morpher, they only came with the five initial Ranger coins, which is Tyrannosaurus Rex, Sabretooth Tiger, uh, Triceratops, Pterodactyl, and Mastodon. That's right. Um, so it only came with those five. Now, a lot of fans are upset that they didn't come with a... Uh, white ranger or a green ranger but now we've got that coming now they've announced the legacy morpher for the white and the green ranger but it's gonna be plated in 24 karat gold so it's not gonna be like the regular uh, it should be cool they did not announce a retail price for it but I can expect it'll be up there probably a hundred maybe hundred and twenty five dollars is my initial guesstimate uh, so yeah we've got that to look forward to Something else they announced was an all-new gold-plated, also like the uh, the green and white Ranger Morpher, uh, Legacy Morpher, like this one. Um, the only difference is that instead of uh, instead of having detail, basically the entire faceplate is just gold. Um, so you have that to expect. And it said it did come with ten all-new exclusive holographic Ranger cards. Um, but I'm gonna assume they're the same Ranger cards that came with this Morpher, but they're just holographic. Uh, so I don't think that that's gonna be too special. I'm not interested in buying it. So I think uh, I can pass that up. Something else they announced and this is an all new metallic Green Ranger action figure that comes with the uh, Zoo Tribe or the Tribal Coin, uh, which is all of the Power Rangers dinos, all in one coin. It's very iconic if you're familiar with the Power Rangers uh, toys. But again, I have a feeling that this coin is going to be available for retail somewhere else. Uh, and the Green Ranger figure that it comes with is metallic and it will also be available for retail. Again, Comic-Con isn't going to be the only place you can buy it, but it might be the only place you can buy the metallic version. And that, actually, I might uh, pick up. Now, something else they announced is seven all-new uh, Ranger cards. Uh, and the first ones they announced, of course, are the White and Green Rangers. Um, so I went ahead and they released the artwork for the white ranger card. I went ahead and I printed one out myself, um, to try and test it, but lo and behold, it didn't work as well as I was hoping. And instead it's just sort of spewing out whatever ranger names it can possibly think of, um, such as Megaforce Black, um, RPM Red, uh, RPM Blue, uh, but it's sort of just spewing uh, whatever Ranger names it can possibly think of, and 90% of the time it's RPM Red, so I'm going to assume that they changed the code on it so that it wouldn't uh, reveal what the, uh, what the what the Ghost of Morpher is going to say when you do put in the White Ranger Power card even though I think it's just gonna say Mighty Morphin White Ranger. And uh, yeah, uh, so I mean, that's pretty much it for this quick look at the all new Bondi of America exclusives. Remember, Bondi of America, until recently, just started investing money into their toys majorly. So if you think, and there's absolutely no reason why these uh, toys should be con exclusives, and I don't think they will be. So again, just keep your panties in a bunch. You might have to wait a couple weeks longer than someone that actually is attending Comic-Con, and you'll get it. So with that aside, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at the TF Review. I apologize for sweating like a freaking horse here. It's 95 degrees outside, which means it's 105 degrees in my garage right now, and it's painful and it's brutal. So I'm about to go inside, sit in front of a fan, and edit this video, and I hope you guys enjoy uh, this video, which is already over, and I hope you guys go to Comic-Con, because I'm going to Comic-Con. Um, 
so I'm personally not upset about anything because I know Bond of America is a company and I know I'm going to Comic-Con. So uh, again, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at the TF Review. Like me on Facebook at the TF Review. And uh, yeah, I made a new logo. I hope you guys like it, but I haven't done it. I haven't animated it or anything. So yeah, you'll see it at the end of this video. Later, guys.